Hi everyone, I'm Mandy Gruss, Public Services Manager at Tiffin Seneca Public Library. Welcome to our June Make It at Home craft program. Today I'll be showing you how to make this American flag button art. Provided in the kits, a 4x6 panel canvas, red, white, and blue buttons, ribbon, and red paper. You'll need to provide scissors and glue. I prefer tacky because it dries clear, but school glue would work as well. So the first thing you're going to do is turn the canvas face down. You're going to place a dot of glue in the top corners to create your ribbon hanger. Turn the canvas face up on the table. Using the strips of red paper, you're going to create a pattern similar to this, like a flag. And you'll need to trim the paper to fit. Glue that in place. Once you have the strips of paper glued down, you're going to adhere the buttons to the corresponding pattern. So blue up in the corner, red, white, red, white. So there's several buttons here. You'll probably need to layer the blue. You can either lay them in place or just glue them down as you go. I'll try to put the bigger ones on the bottom and then layer the smaller ones on top. If you choose to do a project at home, I did purchase these in large bags by color from Amazon. I believe it came with 500 buttons in a bag. It was a pretty decent price. It's much better than trying to wait around until you have the right color buttons for your project. And you can start to layer them. And once you have that done, you'll do the same thing with the red and white. Once it dries completely, as you can see, the glue is clear. This is a very basic start to button art. Uh, my friend Mary actually introduced me to button art, so I wanted to show you a couple of projects that were done. She created this for me as a wedding gift. Um, she used antique buttons, and then she also used beading from her daughter's wedding dresses, so this is really special to me. My very first bu button project was Beauty and the Beast. So for this one, I went online and found a silhouette of the image, and I cut it out using cardstock, and I used buttons and also beads for the words. And then I made a Harry Potter one, so instead of using cardstock, this one I painted the image behind and then put buttons on top. That way I don't have to use as many buttons, and from far away, the image still looks clear. If you'd like to share your creation with us, post a picture in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me and happy crafting.